Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In response to recent security breaches in its airspace, Poland's Ministry of National Defense, under the leadership of the Ladislaw Kosiniak Komish, revealed plans to establish a permanent helicopter aviation base of the land forces in Swidnik, near Lublin. This decision, announced on March 25, 2024, comes in the wake of heightened tensions following a notable breach on March 24, 2024, when a Russian missile aimed at Ukrainian targets intruded into Polish airspace near the village of Ozerdow in the Lublin Voivodeship. Reports from the operational command of the Polish armed forces indicated that the missile remained in Polish airspace for 39 seconds, triggering the activation of national airspace safeguarding protocols. In response, Poland announced its intention to summon the Russian ambassador to express dissatisfaction and demand explanations, underscoring the gravity of airspace violations, particularly given Poland's NATO membership and allied obligations. Deputy Foreign Minister Andrzej Sejna emphasized the unacceptability of such actions and hinted at diplomatic protests as a potential measure to address such breaches. Defense Minister the Ladislaw Kosiniakomish assured that all air defense systems were activated to monitor potential threats from Ukrainian territory, highlighting close coordination with Ukrainian authorities. During subsequent briefings, Lt. Col. Yasek Gorosuski provided technical details about the missile's trajectory, speed, and altitude. Despite breaching Polish airspace, the missile swiftly exited the country, prompting no further investigation. However, the incident prompted Poland to inform NATO allies about the breach, emphasizing the transnational implications of such provocations and seeking solidarity within the alliance to amplify diplomatic pressure on Russia and prevent future airspace violations. The March 24 incident is not an isolated occurrence, as evidenced by a similar breach on December 29, 2023, in the same region. These incidents underscore a pattern of provocative actions near Poland's borders, indicating the risks of the Ukrainian conflict spreading into neighboring territories. In response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Poland has actively supported its neighbor through diplomatic channels and military aid, positioning itself as one of Ukraine's primary supporters. Poland has provided substantial military assistance, including tanks, ammunition, and armored vehicles, with a total aid package nearing $3 billion. Moreover, Poland has facilitated the transfer of equipment from other nations to Ukraine and initiated joint production of ammunition with Ukrainian entities. In light of historical experiences with Russian actions, Poland has prioritized reinforcing its military capabilities, with plans to increase defense spending to more than 3% of GDP, potentially rising to 5% in the next decade. Key investments include the acquisition of tanks, multiple launch rocket systems, MLRS, air defense systems, fighter jets, and self-propelled howitzers, alongside plans to expand its active armed forces and establish additional armored divisions, demonstrating Poland's commitment to bolstering its defense capabilities amidst evolving security challenges. That's all for now. See you later.